Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm gonna show you um, how I finish up painting my paper clay pumpkin. Uh, this was made homemade with homemade um, paper clay. And if you wanna go back a few videos, um, maybe six or seven videos back, um, I will sh you'll be able to see the first part of this. This is part two of the um, paper clay pumpkin. This one's going to be a rotten jack-o'-lantern. So, uh, the first coat of paint was the exterior black paint. I did two coats of that. And then my next layer of paint was the burnt sienna. And now I'm using apple barrel pumpkin orange. And again, I am getting a little bit of paint on the brush and getting most of it off. And I'm dry brushing. Uh, really hitting the higher areas more uh, the raised areas of the pumpkin because uh, I definitely want to still see those that dimension in there but I mean we don't want a perfect pumpkin so the way that the paper clay turned out really works in your favor because it gives you some uh, really nice texture which makes it nice when you go to uh, dry brush because uh, it gives you that dimension and you can see all of the different colors and detail. All right, so I think I'm finished with the first coat of this uh, orange. So I'm gonna let this coat dry and then I will decide if it needs another coat or not and then I will start adding the um, the uh, grays the whites and the blacks to make it uh, moldy looking and rotten you can see how nice the texture around the stem here turned out for us so guys I apologize for my voice if I sound kind of nasally or scratchy I've been working out in the yard all day, so that's uh, probably why. Uh, while I am, while while I've been working on this pumpkin project, I've been watching Ann Clay. You guys know that I really love primitive decorating, and that's something else that we talk about and do on my channel. So if you're into that, I just wanted to uh, recommend a YouTube channel for you guys. Uh, definitely check out Ann Clay, The Primitive Home. Um, she does home tours and has a salt box home of her own. Um, I love salt boxes and I love a uh, farmhouse. So uh, one day I'm going to have my dream house in. But I can't, <laughs> I can't decide if I want like a white, classic white farmhouse or if I want more of a salt box house but anyway um just wanted to shout out her channel <laughs> you can see i got a bench pulled out i've been doing a little bit of everything today uh but absolutely gorgeous homes on her channel uh lots of inspiration i'm loving how um they're using like one br light color throughout the house and they're doing uh the woodwork is a color does that make sense? They use a lot of the um, Benjamin Moore colors, which I absolutely love. I love their paint. Um, I actually have the big bedroom in our house um, is their paint color. Uh, but I'm loving the color on the, the woodwork. So definitely check her out if you're into that thing. If you're not... Uh, just watch the Halloween videos and gardening videos but I do want to uh, shout out to my new subscribers um, thank you so much for subscribing and we do a little bit of everything on this channel so sometimes it's a little random but we do Halloween gardening and primitive home decor so uh, anyway just wanted to shout out her channel for you guys that are into primitive decorating 
All right, friends, that coat of paint has dried and I've decided that I'm gonna go ahead and hit this guy with a little bit more of this pumpkin orange from Apple Barrel. Again, the raised areas of the pumpkin, I'm gonna hit them with a little bit heavier paint. So have any of you all started your fall or even Halloween decorating yet? If you have, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear about your decorating and uh, maybe you're working on some Halloween props DIYs too. I'd love to hear about them and uh, be inspired. Let's just inspire each other here on this channel. I know I've got the inside uh, pretty much how I want it as far, as far as the Halloween and fall decor inside goes. Uh, Labor Day weekend, I will start on my yard. So what do we have now? Two weeks and it all begins. All right, friends, I've decided to go back through a third time and just put a little bit heavier paint um, in lines, like, so you can, uh, how can I word this? So you can definitely see the um, ridges of the pumpkin rind. That makes sense. So uh, see how this is coming out here, and then I'm gonna leave a little strip of uh, where it's darker and then I want to just come through and just hit hit it with a little bit of thicker paint there just kind of make those outer areas of the pumpkin highlighted a little more. Right here I'm gonna leave a little darker, hit it with a little bit more paint, and then straight down heavier. more paint Here, in the lost market here, and you transform this, is it 
friends we're gonna let that dry and then we'll get started on some rotten uh, touches to this guy I've decided to mix up a little bit of gold and orange paint together and just kind of dry brush the inside of this to make it look um, kind of like the inside of a jack-o-lantern a real pumpkin um, then when we put a light in the sky it will really glow for us can you guys see that in there The gold paint I'm using is this Academy, um, yeah, yellow paint. I'm not going to try to pronounce that word, so we're just going to say yellow. So with using that masking tape, it's giving us some nice texture on the inside. I think you guys can see that okay so it kind of looks like a inside of a real jack-o-lantern now I'm taking just a very little bit of this gold and very lightly putting a little bit here and there on the outside just to give us a little bit more definition and color going on a little bit of highlight. Alright, so there's a look at him so far. I am going to go back through and uh, slap a little bit of brown uh, where I brought the black paint too far on the stem. Uh, but overall so far, <clears throat> I'm really liking the way he's coming together. So now I'm going to get some black paint out, some white paint, and uh, we'll be putting the mold on this guy. Alright friends, I've got a little bit of white paint and black paint on this paper here. I'm going to make a little bit of a gray paint. And I like to start out with the gray, and then my last color I will do is the white. Um, and just hit lightly in certain areas and that'll really give give it that rotten look I'm still dry brushing so I don't want a whole lot of paint on my brush and then I'll look for like areas it's got a lot of oh, let's find one it's got a lot of texture like this one so those areas I will make really moldy All I'm doing is lightly going in there with the gray. I'm not covering up that black that I, my first coat of paint. So you can see the black coming through. Uh, you can still see the orange. And just a little bit of gray made it look moldy. So I'm going to go through here and find different places where I want my mold to be. And my rotten areas and I'll be right back to show you guys how that looks
All right, friends, I got the dark gray paint on this one. I don't think I'm going to overdo it. And the fun thing about these things, I've made, this is probably, I don't know, going on my 10th one. And uh, they always turn out a little bit different, each one of them. So, they each have their own personality. And they're kind of like potato chips. Once you make one, you got to have more. All right, so now I'm going to mix up some white, not mix up, I'm going to get some white paint and I'm going to lightly put that in places to kind of highlight and give this mold that final touch and layer. All right, friends, I'm using a small uh, paintbrush here to put the little highlights on my moldy spots and I'm lightly just putting it on in areas sometimes I'll kind of rub some of it away I really want to focus on those um, higher spots so I'm barely just hitting it with the brush And how much mold you put on your pumpkin is completely up to you. However you do it, it's going to look great. Can't really go wrong with it. So yeah, kind of like that. So I'm going to go through this entire pumpkin and put on the little highlights here and we will wrap up this video.
All right, friends, I think that is all of the white I'm gonna put on this guy. I might go back through with some, a little bit more black in different spots, but that is basically how I paint up my rotten jack-o'-lanterns there. Um, so now I think I will get a light so you guys can see uh, what it looks like with a light in it. Um, I'll have to hunt down one of my um, battery um, candles. So let me go find that and I'll be right back. Well, friends, all I could find was one of my decorative uh, candle lights. Um, I do have some of the flicker bulbs um, around here somewhere. I just couldn't find them real quickly. Um, but anyway, if you made it through this long video, thank you so much for watching. Um, just thought I'd share how I make my homemade rotten jack-o'-lanterns and rotten pumpkins. Um, if anything else to this project, I might put a coat of um, polyurethane uh, just to kind of seal it and give it a